Imagine flipping a coin. It's either heads or tails, right? But what if it could be both at the same time? Welcome to the mind-bending world of quantum mechanics, a realm of physics that challenges our everyday perceptions of reality. In this world, the fundamental building blocks of the universe behave in ways that contradict our intuition. Here, particles can exist in many places at once, only to be found in one spot when observed. They can spin in two directions simultaneously and even affect each other instantly over vast distances. This is the world of quantum mechanics, a field that revolutionizes our understanding of physics. It introduces us to the concept of fundamental uncertainty, the idea that we can never precisely predict both the position and momentum of a particle. It presents us with the dual nature of particles, embodying both particle and wave characteristics at the same time. Welcome to the quantum world, where nothing is as it seems. Enter Max Planck, the man who dared to think differently. A physicist and a pioneer, Planck was the mind that birthed quantum mechanics into the world of science. His work, like all great undertakings, began with a problem. In the late 19th century, physicists were struggling to explain a phenomenon known as black body radiation. Existing theories just didn't add up. But Planck, ever the revolutionary, proposed a radical solution. He suggested that energy, rather than being continuous, was actually made up of discrete units, or quanta. This was a game changer. It was like saying that instead of a sliding scale, energy came in individual, indivisible packets. This was Planck's quantum hypothesis, a concept that stood in stark contrast to the wave theory of light that was prevalent at the time. Planck's quantum hypothesis was a leap into the unknown, a daring departure from classical physics. It was a concept so revolutionary that even Planck himself had trouble accepting it at first. But the proof was in the pudding, or in this case, the mathematics. Planck's equations, based on the quantum hypothesis, provided a perfect explanation for the black body radiation dilemma. One of Planck's most significant contributions to quantum mechanics was the discovery of Planck's constant denoted by the symbol H. This constant, a tiny number with a big impact, is fundamental to the quantum world. It sets the scale for the quantization of energy, the very heart of quantum mechanics. Max Planck's audacious ideas, his quantum hypothesis, and the discovery of Planck's constant radically altered our understanding of the physical world. It was a paradigm shift, a turning point in the annals of science. Planck's work opened the door to a new realm of physics, one that was strange, counterintuitive, and absolutely fascinating. Planck's work laid the foundation for a new era in physics, one that would challenge our understanding of the universe. Building on Planck's work, Niels Bohr took a quantum leap. Diving into the atomic world, Bohr began to sketch a new model for the atom. This wasn't your standard billiard ball model, where electrons orbit a nucleus much like planets orbit the sun. No, Bohr's atom was something far more exotic, a place where the ordinary laws of physics took a back seat and the strange rules of quantum mechanics took the wheel. Bohr proposed that electrons inhabit specific energy levels or orbits around the nucleus and that they could jump from one level to another. Now these weren't just any jumps. These were quantum jumps, instantaneous leaps where an electron disappears from one place and reappears in another without ever crossing the space in between. Imagine being at home one moment and at your favorite coffee shop the next without ever stepping outside. That's a quantum jump for you. But what happens when an electron makes such a leap? Well, Bohr suggested it either absorbs or emits energy in the form of electromagnetic radiation. This explained why atoms emit or absorb light at specific wavelengths. Picture a neon sign glowing in the night, that distinct red-orange color. That's due to the electrons in neon atoms making quantum jumps and emitting light of a specific wavelength. Bohr's model was revolutionary. It wasn't just a new way of looking at atoms, it was a new way of understanding the nature of reality itself. It proposed a world where particles could be in two places at once, where the act of observing could change the outcome, where uncertainty wasn't just a product of our ignorance but a fundamental part of the universe. Ultimately, Bohr's work not only explained atomic behavior, but also opened the door to a deeper understanding of the quantum world. His model sparked a revolution in physics, setting the stage for a century of quantum discoveries, and all this from the simple idea of a quantum leap. 
Erwin Schrodinger, a man who brought cats into quantum mechanics. A statement that might sound absurd, but in the realm of quantum physics, it's quite fitting. Schrodinger, a Nobel laureate and one of the pioneers of quantum mechanics, gave us a new way to perceive the nature of reality. Schrodinger's most significant contribution is his wave equation, a mathematical formula that describes how quantum systems evolve over time. Instead of seeing particles as tiny balls bouncing around, Schrodinger proposed that they behave more like waves spreading out and interfering with each other. This wave nature leads to the strange counterintuitive phenomena that we see in the quantum world. Take, for instance, the concept of superposition. In our everyday lives, an object can be in one place at a time. But in the quantum world, a particle can be in superposition. It can exist in multiple states or places simultaneously. It's only when we measure or observe it that the particle chooses a definite state. To illustrate this, Schrodinger proposed a thought experiment now famously known as Schrodinger's cat. Imagine a cat in a box with a radioactive atom that has a 50-50 chance of decaying within an hour. If the atom decays, it triggers a mechanism that releases a poison, killing the cat. If it doesn't, the cat survives. According to quantum mechanics, until we open the box and observe, the cat is both alive and dead at the same time. Bizarre, isn't it? But that's the beauty of Schrodinger's work. It challenges our intuition and forces us to rethink our understanding of reality. It's not about the cat, really. It's about the fundamental nature of the universe, where the act of observation influences the observed. Schrodinger's work adds another layer of complexity to our understanding of the quantum world, where cats can be both alive and dead. So next time you see a cat, remember in the quantum realm, it might be having the best and worst day of its life all at the same time. From Planck to Bohr to Schrodinger, we've journeyed through the quantum revolution. We've delved into the minuscule world of particles, where the rules of the game are unlike anything we experience in our macroscopic existence. In this final chapter, Let's take a moment to step back and appreciate the profound shift in understanding that these quantum pioneers brought about. Max Planck, the father of quantum theory, challenged the conventional wisdom of his time. With a single equation, he solved the black body radiation problem and introduced the world to the quantum. The idea that energy could only be transferred in discrete packets or quanta was a fundamental departure from the smooth, continuous nature of classical physics. Niels Bohr then took the baton from Planck, and with it, he made his own leap into the quantum realm. Bohr proposed a model of the atom where electrons orbit the nucleus in distinct energy levels. This model explained why atoms emit light at specific frequencies, a phenomenon that had baffled scientists for decades. Bohr's work not only gave us a new way to visualize atoms, but it also demonstrated that quantum mechanics could explain the behavior of matter at the atomic level. Enter Erwin Schrodinger, who gave us the wave function, a mathematical tool to describe the state of quantum systems. His equation, the Schrodinger equation, provides probabilities of where particles might be found. This idea was a radical departure from the deterministic worldview of Newtonian physics. Schrodinger's cat, a thought experiment that illustrates the peculiarities of quantum superposition, is one of the most famous metaphors of quantum mechanics. The contributions of these three men have shaped our understanding of the universe in ways that we are still grappling with today. Quantum mechanics has led to the development of technologies that have revolutionized our lives. The transistor, the laser, the MRI scanner, even the computer you're using to watch this video, none of these would exist without the quantum revolution. And yet, quantum mechanics remains one of the most baffling theories in physics. It's a theory that challenges our intuition about reality and forces us to accept that at its most fundamental level, the universe is not as it seems. It's a world where particles can be in two places at once, where they can tunnel through barriers, and where observing a system can change its state. As we conclude our journey through the quantum revolution, let's remember that science is a never-ending quest for understanding. Each discovery opens up new questions, each answer leads to more mysteries. The quantum revolution is not an end, but a beginning, a stepping stone to new frontiers of knowledge. 
In the quantum world, reality is stranger than fiction, but it's this strange world that makes our universe so fascinating.